Dear Ellen, I am so happy that this book exists and when I meet you, I'll tell you all about it because you just gotta keep swimming and then you'll make it. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denango and today we're talking about Ellen DeGeneres, Keep Swimming, and books, <laughs> okay? So today we're talking about the book, It Ends With Us. The author of the book is Colleen Hoover. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is relationships literature, okay? So I read this book six years ago, way before Colleen Hoover, before she was such a big deal on every billboard and every poster and everything. The Libby app tells me I read it in 2018. And I recently heard that they're gonna try to turn it into a TV show or a movie. So I was like, let me pick it up again and read it. I forgot what the book was about, y'all. I had to put this book down three times. Three. I read it, oh my God, it's so great. Somebody gets hit. I read it, oh my God, wait. Somebody gets beat up with a baseball bat. Okay, I'm reading it, oh my God, wait. Now somebody's pregnant. I forgot about the drama. I forgot about the heartache. I forgot about the writing, okay? Colleen Hoover has been writing for years and now she is getting all of this respect and renown and it's well-deserved because her pen to paper, her hands to keyboard, the descriptions, right? I love that Lily spends half of the book rereading her journal entries to Ellen DeGeneres, right? She used to watch the Ellen show and she was writing to her like, hey, if I ever meet you, da 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 da. I am a big journaler. I have journals absolutely everywhere. I love journaling. And sometimes I do reread them, but it's hard to reread them because you're not the 13 year old you were or the 23 year old you were. I did not remember all of the plot, right? I remember Without Merit, I, November 9th, I absolutely love. She writes a lot of books that I really love. I've done a review here on the book Verity. In fact, reading this book, I was like, I don't know if I can watch it adapted to a TV show or a movie because the violent scenes are so heartbreaking. It's such a good book. And again, I've recently given myself permission to reread books. So I'm definitely gonna read it again before this movie, TV show, whatever they're expecting to come out comes out because I mean, I finished the book in two days because I cannot put it down. Well, actually I could put it down because whenever I would get to a really emotional part and it would make me start crying and I would just, I'm reading in my bed and I'm like, why is my pillow covered? Oh, because I'm silently sobbing. The writing was fantastic. To see Lily go through these different relationships and these different interactions with love and how love changes and builds and grows. And even the course of the entire relationship, she says it towards the end, was like a year and a half. There were huge changes within a year and a half, okay? So, and if you want another book that's about love and relationships, but way spookier, it still has Colleen Hoover's trademark, Meet Cutes, right? Check out this book review here. Verity was phenomenal, and it's very different than Colleen Hoover's typical books. This one is a lot more frightening and scary, okay? So I'll see you in the next one.